What's up guys, I'm Tony Durhammer, owner of Hammer Tech Race Cars, in here doing an instructional video for our product HTR3040. That's our manhandler master kit for the Turbo 400. Now, if you've ever tried putting one of these in at the track, you know how big of a problem you can run into. So we wanted to have something that not only keeps you safe, so you're not hurting you or your crew guys get hurt, trying to put this thing in but you also don't want to hurt this guy this guy is a very expensive piece of the puzzle and we want to keep it safe just as as much as our crew guys so um, if you're watching this video you probably already bought one and you just want to see how we assemble it here in the shop so first off I want to say thank you for supporting our small business you know every product we sell helps our bottom line and keeps our lights on so thank you guys for supporting us and believing in us to where we can keep making these cool products for you guys. So, with that being said, let's dive right in. We got our bell housing off, just for ease of view, so you guys can see the placement on how we put all the hardware in this thing. So let's start off with our stainless 3 8 um, stud. It's got a, a 3 16 hex in the backside. And I like to run the hex out of the back and I'll explain that here in a second, but we got our 12 point ARP nut that goes on the front. This is what's gonna hold your bell housing on. So you, <clears throat> if you already have your bell housing mounted, hopefully it's not in the car to where you can get to this stuff easily, take your torque converter out, put this on, then you're done. You don't have to mess with it anymore. But while you're there, you can take out your, your factory hardware that comes with these things, these little cheap bolts. And then we've got these come in the kit. They're a stainless steel ARP bolt to hold the bell housing on. We've also got those as a separate kit, but just for this video's purpose, we'll keep it all about the master kit. So once we've got that on, we're going to take our front. Here's what the front looks like. It's a little taller than the back. Ours is a little beat up because we use the heck out of this thing here in the shop, but we slide it on our studs. Um, then we've got our spacers. So these are just quarter inch long spacers to slide over. And we run the spacers so that when you screw the nuts on, the nut doesn't hit the case. Like the shoulder of the nut is a little tight. So we put the spacer on just to make sure that you're not gonna hurt your transmission. And the reason, once we get to this point, why I like to have the hex out of the back is if you want to take this off after you've got it mounted in the car, you can put a, an Allen wrench in here, take a wrench, take this nut loose, so that way you don't have to worry about spinning the stud that's holding your bell housing on. Because if you spin that stud, then you gotta take the whole thing back apart again, tighten the nuts, it can be a big hassle. So I always recommend putting the hex towards the rear of the transmission. So that's our front. Um, on the back, here's what your factory hardware looks like when you get it from whoever your transmission guy is. Got these real nice crappy bolts that uh, you, you'd use on your lawnmower, maybe. I don't know. But we're gonna start off with these spacers. So these are all stainless steel spacers. Uh, the reason we use a spacer is because these, these back bolts, they have a pocket. So we put the spacer on, that way the pocket becomes flush or it's actually a little protruded. So that when you put your rear handle on, it's got a nice flat surface. You're not binding it up on, on the case. <clears throat> Use our stainless steel ARP bolts. Start those babies on. Run them in a little bit. There you have it. And we've also got ARP bolt kit to go with the rear that's in this kit. So once this thing is in your car, you're gonna have all nice stainless hardware. It's not gonna look like crap in a year from rusting up. And if you want, you can take these on and off. Uh, if not, I think they weigh like a quarter of a pound. So um, just don't eat the cheeseburger at the racetrack and you can leave these on your car. So <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Thank you guys for supporting the small business means a lot to me personally. You know, I love doing these, these new products and helping you guys out and helping solving some of the problems that are out there racing. So uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Enjoy the manhandler kit and we'll see you next time. 